Hello there and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red, the series where I play a game that I know so little about that I shouldn't be allowed to play it. So today, we're going to be checking out the Cinnabar Island, and I think what I can do now, since I've been to Seafoam Island, I should be able to take my good friend over here, Pidge Dick, and fly myself right down here, and just like this. And I'm going gonna, gonna to close a window that just popped up. No one's, no one saw that. <laughs> no. So here we are. I, I think... Um, I'm ready. I, I don't need to heal my Pokemon. I don't know what I'm doing going in there. Uh, but anyways, I hope you all are enjoying this series so far. If you are, don't forget to pound the like button down below and sugar sport on it. Uh, but yeah, let's get right into this. There's a gym right here we can check out. What's this? This is the fiery town of what? Uh, Burning Desire. I, I think I did check out this town. Just a, this is a smidge. Uh, maybe in the last episode, or maybe I did it off camera when I was, I was looking around. The Pokemon Lab. Let's check out the Pokemon Lab. Maybe they got something cool they can give me. So there's some scientists here, uh, there's a back room, um, which I don't know where these rooms came from, but they are here. Uh, there's some people, maybe these are trainer battles, they are not. Uh, there's a guy here. I found the most remarkable fossil inside my moon. It's a type of rare prehistoric Pokemon. How about you give it to me then, jerk? Uh, but maybe, maybe the pre prehistoric Pokemon, this freaking bone. Anyways, please excuse that horrible disturbance. What does this sign say? Pokemon R&D room. Now uh, that is the, um... Reproduce and digest room, uh, which has an amber pipe. Can I steal that? Hey, I'll teach you a nifty move. Uh, watch fun unfold. It's called metronome. Yeah, let's see. Which Pokemon should I teach? Okay, well, none of my Pokemon can learn metronome. I'll tell you, it's a lot of... Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. Um, is this just a normal computer? It appears to be... People want to talk to me for some reason. Okay, we're actually gonna do an episode now. Wow, it was a lot of work to get to, but we're finally here. Okay, you, sir, are a jerk for not giving me that thing up there. Uh, I don't think we need to bother talking to these guys. I don't really think they're gonna give us anything. Uh, we might as well check out the last room. Um, this is the testing room. Um, where they do horrible things, Pokemon. He's looking for the Pokemon Pontia. No, I don't have one of those, I don't think. Uh, hi, I'm, I'm an important doctor. Wow, ego, anyone? Yeah, I study rare fossil Pokemon. Have you got a fossil for me? I'm gonna go ahead and take this opportunity and give him the Helix fossil. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Maybe I should be saving it, but I'm going for it. Uh, it's a fossil of Omanite, a Pokemon that is already is extinct. <gasps> yes! Yes, I want to revive a Pokemon. Holy crap! Mmm, take a little time, so go for a walk for a little while. Uh, da -da 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 is it done? Oh, crap. He stole my Helix Fossil. I know. I'm going to come back and this whole building is going to be totally gone. They were just out to steal my Helix Fossil this entire time. I know it. That's how these guys work. I've seen it before and I've seen it again. And I will see it again. All right. We study Pokemon extensively. Peel off ring rare. Okay. What, a, what the crap? That place wasn't nearly as cool as I thought it was going to be. That was just like the biggest letdown. Um, as big as a letdown as um, that new Nicki Minaj video, which I was told was going to be the funniest thing in my life. And it, it was horrible. I quit watching because it wasn't even funny. Like, it wasn't, it was gross, and it wasn't funny. Uh, why is this gym door locked? Uh, Litter Blaine. Uh, what, why is the gym locked? Okay, let's check out this building first, maybe. Uh, oh, the Pokemon Mansion is just totally destroyed. No, it looks good. Looks good. Oh, it's like another Touching Pillar game. Oh, I guess Pokemon Mansion can have battles. Oh, it's a Rattata. Um, I don't remember what a Rattata is, or Rattata. Uh, yeah, go for it. Use your fire spin. Fire spin's a fun move. Oh my gosh, but it always misses. Eevee, you suck. You suck so much. Wow. You are gonna get your butt kicked by this little guy, and it's gonna be funny. Alright, just bite him. Whatever. You can't- you can never hit with your stupid fire spin. You're so useless. I want Eevee to be good. I like Eevee, and I feel like she should be good, but she's just not good yet. So, and she's like a pretty good level, but I just need some fire moves. Okay, I'm gonna stay on the carpet. Maybe it's safer. I didn't really expect this to be like a dungeon area, I guess, where you could like settle things. How about you? What are you? Uh, this is a super nerd. Are you my super nerdy? Uh, no, this is not a super nerd. Ooh, it's a new type. Um, a burglar. I wonder if they could have anything. He said, not a Charmander. Oh, it's so cute. It's, it's so cute. It's, it's the cutest Pokemon ever. A uh, Squirty is going to handle Charmander. And it's kind of hard to talk like this. Alright. That's enough. Come back. 
Squirty! You, uh, you shall run Mr. Charmander into the ground. Unless, of course, he lowers your accuracy like that. And, uh, and you'll, you'll not be able to hit it all now. For the rest of the game, you're just going to suck like this. Alright, actually, he hit first shot. And I, I feel kind of bad for telling him it's going to suck. Honestly, that much bad. That much. Which is, uh, it's about the size of my head. Oh, no, I'm being smashed. <laughs> that, was, that was sad. Uh, Eevee gains some experience. Squirty gains some experience. It was a good day for everyone. He's about to use a Charmeleon. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and change out Pokemon here. Uh, Mouthy, you're kind of falling behind a little bit in the game. So let's put you in and uh, let you see if you can do some damage here, even though you'll probably die. Uh, a Charmeleon, of course, is a little bit better than Charmander. Um, but I think you should be okay. Let's just feign attack it. Uh, unless, of course, he is super effective against you, um, which would be saying I did would not see coming. And but it might be my oh Metal Claw. Oh boy, here it goes the death, the death of good old Mouthy, uh, which which I regret. I regret somewhat um, naming him Mouthy. Uh, I wish I would have named him Meowthy. Uh, like okay, somehow integrated his, his Pokemon name, you know, the, his type name or whatever. Whatever, not type name, whatever. You know, you know, you people that know this game. I warned you from the start of this video. I should not be allowed to play this game because I don't know enough about it. So, you were warned, and if you're still here now, that's your own darn fault. So, please don't click off. I have no friends. Okay. Uh, we'll probably do... I'll probably do some more skipping of these trainer battles as they come up. Uh, but I'm going to show you this first one here. We'll finish up this first battle here. And, really, uh, after this, I'll probably just chop most of them out. Unless I see being interesting. So, uh, that's just kind of how it's going to go for this episode. Um, we'll explore the Pokemon Mansion to its fullest, I think. So, it should be a lot of fun seeing a brand new area, I think. So, alright. You have been faint attacked, sir. Your butt has been destroyed viciously by Mouthy. Uh, Mouthy is now level 35, which is a great upgrade. And look at that, he's, he's already a good step of the way on to 36. I say, I say he's doing a pretty good job. Uh, after I insulted his name, even. Which is, it's just saying to me to have that good of an attitude and come back out here and do this. So maybe this isn't, uh, oh there it goes. I was like, maybe this isn't an area where you get, get random encounters. Maybe I ran this way, but there we go. Uh, Raticate. Alright guys, be back. Oh, Pokemon! I found one zinc. Um, oh, oh, I, I gotta remember. I gotta remember. Okay. Uh, Natalie's been asking me to do this for a few episodes now. Um, in the comments, you've mentioned it. Uh, quick claw, uh, which is in here somewhere. It's in my item somewhere. Maybe it's not a key item. Item. All right. I have quick claw in here, which I'm going to give to Mouthy. Uh, quick claw, quick claw, quick claw. Oh, there it is. There it is. An item to be held by a Pokemon. A light and sharp claw. The holder may be able to strike first. So, quick claw. Give to uh, Mouthy's already holding an item. What's Mouthy holding? Was already holding an Aspier Berry. Um, would I like to switch two items? Yeah, uh, we'll give the berry to someone else. Let's see. Uh, what does the berry do? Uh, Aspier Berry. That should be at the top. Uh, this, this is an alphabetical order. I don't even remember. No, it's definitely not enough. But of course, so I actually gotta go all the way to the bottom now, which is pretty tragic <laughs> to be honest, because this is a long list of crap. Um, I don't even see the berry. Uh, is that, so I guess, I know like in the other games, like I had a berry bag. Uh, berry, oh, I do have a berry pouch right here. Alright, open. Uh, Aspear Berry, what does that do? Uh, it will use in battle for defrosting. Uh, it will be used in battle to heal a burn, to cure poison. Oh, P.E.K.K.A. P.E.K.K.A. Uh, to heal paralysis. Okay, you know what? Poison is like most annoying things. So let's go ahead and give this one to Squirty. Uh, I won't, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time doing this. Uh, Aspear, we'll give that to, uh, I don't know, let's give it to Pidge. Sure, whatever, I don't, I don't know this crap. Alright, it's probably, I've probably made a lot of bad decisions already, and I don't want to continue making more. So let's get out of this menu, and continue exploring the mansion. What is this? A wall! Fantastic. I hate self-destruct! So much! Ah! Oh my goodness, we gotta we gotta make a new primary, I guess. Uh, Evie Evie is down for the count, and it's time for Mouthy to get in and show what he can do now with this uh, brand new Quick Claw. Uh, now I feel like it only makes sense to give the Quick Claw to the guy you're gonna throw in first. Uh, that's just me, probably. <gasps> Pokeball. That's my favorite thing. Ah, oh, crap. Mouthy's speed was lowered so much in that battle that it said it couldn't go any lower, and I found some calcium. Yes. Very good for your bones, kids. Freaking self-destruct! Gosh dang it! You suicidal maniacs! I don't like that when it's those kind of battles for the reason that if it's a trainer doing it, it makes sense because he has no, he has more battle to happen. 
but it doesn't make sense, I feel like, in the random encounters that they will be working together, I guess, to kill me. Because obviously that's a very gay, I would call it gamey, uh, is a term I used. But, you know, obviously they'd be working together um, in a battle. But out here, while I'm walking around, I don't really feel like they should be, like, working together. Like, this guy and the guy just can see. Now, Jiggles is probably going to get his butt whooped when this guy self-destructs. Uh, Alright, should we, should we go to Sing? Let's just body slam Boom! Oh, snap. Oh, see? I do not like that. Is he dead? <sighs> you gotta one-shot it. I just don't like because it, it doesn't make sense for them. I feel like every battle, the game should be smart enough to try to beat every battle. Uh, but these little ones, it shouldn't be... It's basically the game's working ahead, essentially, to hurt you for your next battle. Which I don't feel like a Pokemon should be smart enough to do that because they're not, they don't, unless, I mean, I guess they could all be friends. Let's, let me, let me change everything I've said up to now. They could all be friends living down here. Oh my gosh, these things. Oh, Bony, please one shot him and don't die. Um, my best shot's probably a Bonerang. Uh, oh, I, ground moves, can't hit him. Oh, he didn't self destruct, thank goodness. Uh, maybe he thought he had a chance here, which was good. Um, Ground, ground, headbutt, which is probably the way to go now. Bony used headbutt. Boom. And, ooh, almost there. No! Holy crap. Oh, he didn't die. Oh, he doesn't always kill him immediately. I thought it, like, I've never had that move happen and it didn't kill the Pokemon. It's not nearly as bad. Bony's almost leveled up, too, which is fantastic. All right, let's go up the stairs. Wait, did I come down these stairs? What's, it's Charmander? Soft statue. I want to check it out. Bony grew to level 39. Good job, Bony. Uh, more attack. Ooh, more special defense. That's great. Three more. Wow. He's trying to learn false swipe. Bony can't learn more than four moves. Delete a move to make move. Yes, we will. Well, we gotta find out what false swipe is. Of course. Um, the restrained a restrained attack that always leaves the foe at least one HP. But it's got 100% accuracy. Hmm, I don't know if I want to get rid of I kind of like my moves, to be honest. I, I do really- I mean, it does have 40 PP, which is really nice. I'm gonna go with no. This is probably a dumb move. And you can yell at me in the comment section below if you feel like you need to. Bony did not lie, no, I know. Pidge gained some experience, too. Good job, Pidge. I- I don't- Oh, Pokeball! I found iron. Uh, iron in the key items pocket. Alright, I can't cross these stones, unfortunately. Alright, let's get out of here. A secret switch. Shall we press it? Yes. Who won it? Uh, that thing's eyes turned red. Oh, I see some stairs. Ooh. Okay, new area here. Hello, sir. Uh, sure, I'll battle you, even though I only have two Pokemon to do it with. I mean, it'll be fine. I mean, I I've never died in a battle before. He would like to battle. He said I'm Magmanite. Oh, boy. Um, this, this might be really bad. Actually, um, this could be really bad. Yeah, let's see if we can. Uh, hopefully these aren't like super bad. It's not very effective. Great. Uh, he used lock on. He took aim on pitch stick. Uh, if he took aim on pitch stick, I think it's time for Squirty to get into the battle. Uh, because he's, this is, this is not gonna be a pretty fight. It may actually be the end of me, because I, I probably shouldn't have been so excited to get into another battle. Um, after, you know, losing three of my Pokemon. Uh, you know, maybe water. Is super great against electricity, is it? Because that's that's kind of what I imagine in my head. Uh, because dumpy water and anything electrical is very bad. So, uh, no, let's not change Pokemon. Squirty could probably handle this battle all by himself, being so overpowered as he is. I like how the like higher level version of that is like three of them. So I picture them like uh, kind of like the replicators, uh, sort of from Stargate. And so like they just keep making more. So one of them, uh, at the highest evolution, it doesn't even have it. It just like procedurally gets more. It just starts doubling and doubling and doubling and doubling. So, eventually, we're hosed. Uh, because these things will eventually take over the entire planet and use up every resource that there is to use up. So, Squirty gained a crap load of experience for that. And is now level 43 for it. So, good for you, Squirty. Uh, you needed some levels anyways. He's about to use a Voltorb. Yeah, well, no, we won't change Pokemon. Uh, let's finish this battle up. Yeah, I thought this was going to be a super close one. And I've just kind of dominated being the best ever. Hi there. This place is like huge like totally and completely huge 
All right, he would like to battle. He sent out nine tails. Oh, I like that. I, I kind of like that one. I I'm a little jealous to be honest. Um, unfortunately, Mouthy is going to have to absolutely destroy Nine Tails. Uh, assuming Nine Tails doesn't do anything crazy and you know win the fight, uh, which I would not be very happy with. But it, it appears that is going to be actually be the case of what's going to happen here. So let's try Scratch out, see what it does. It's not bad. Confusion Ray. I don't like it when my Pokemon get confused, but it looks like Mouthy is going to be confused today um, because Mouthy is not very smart uh, and is easily confused. Uh, Mouthy is confused. I'm guessing it's going to hurt itself in confusion. Yep. All right. It's probably worth it to, uh, you know, put a new Pokemon in. So is this what Eevee's going to look like when sh when she's highest level? It kind of it kind of looks like a similar Pokemon. Uh, let's not put an Eevee to handle this one. Let's put in a, uh, you know, Air. Could be effective against fire if you blow really really hard to blow it out uh, otherwise you would be adding to the flame unfortunately so let's go ahead and give it a shot uh and with the flying move here and quick attack him go for it pigeon pigeon's not afraid of you and uh it wasn't super effective but you know got the job done we'll, we'll quick attack and just finish this one up so there we go you have officially been killed nine tails mouthy gained some experience and page probably gained oh i, th I thought it was gonna be enough to level up but it wasn't I got $3,300 for winning that. That's not bad. Alright. How much health do you have left at the end of that battle? Mouthy had a little bit. You know what? It's probably not worth it. Let's just take Mouthy out of it. Um, Jiggles, you're up for our main right now. Alright. Let's go ahead and grab, grab this Pokeball here. Oh. Fine. Don't give me the Pokeball. I found a Max Potion, which are really nice. So, I put that in my key items pocket. I'll keep it right here in my pocket. And moving on. Uh, this is on the alt up, up here. It's a totally empty room, actually. Oh, I want one of these guys. Oh, I, I gotta capture him. I gotta capture him. Alright, we gotta be really careful here, Jiggles. No murdering. He used Odor Sleuth. Yeah, Sounds nasty. He identified Jiggles. Is Jiggles your mother? Is that what's going on here? And holy crap, that was a lot of damage. Um, I wanna be really careful here. Um, who's got some weak moves? I don't want to do anything bad. I don't want to kill it. Um, I think Mouthy probably has a really, really bad quick attack, uh, which we're probably fine to use. Mouthy, you're up. All right, use Ember. This might be... Oh, it was burned. Mouthy was burned. Oh, crap. Is that going to kill it? Ah! All right, let's get my bag here. Uh, let's give it. A, let's just give it a shot with that. Um, do we want to use the Ultra Ball? I spent money on them for this, just so I, I mean, I have so much money. But let's, let's give it a shot with the Great Ball. Uh, even though it will mean Mouthy's life, um, unfortunately, it's okay. So we're giving a shot. One, two, three. Yes! Got it. All right, it's a Growlithe. Uh, the, obviously, the only name is going to be Growly. Wait, isn't this a fire type? Yeah. Oh, Eevee might get replaced, guys. Um, because, I, even though I do love Eevee, but if this is a way better fire type, um, I might have to go with it. Alright, Growly, welcome to the team. Uh, you're gonna go into Bill's PC, unfortunately, for you, but it's not a bad place. A lot of Pokemon have found their way from Bill's PC onto the field. Uh, unfortunately, you will not be one of them. Alright, Pokemon Chiggles is probably good for another fight here. Uh, let's check out this dude. Alright, talk to him. Ha, I love going into the fight and earning health from it. This is my favorite thing. Oh, Dream Eater is such a fun move. I love it. Pidge Jake has now grown to level 44 with a much better speed, in fact, which is great. Also, just a lot of stat increases in general. Wow, that's actually a really nice upgrade. Alright, moving on with our exploration here. Uh, we're down in what appears to be like kind of a basement area of the Pokemon Mansion. Found an HP up in the key items pocket. Nothing to see down there, unfortunately. What about all these edges? Oh! I fell really far. Holy cow. Am I swear where I couldn't have gotten before? Because that'd be pretty cool. Hello, mister. I probably will die if I try a trainer battle right now. So let's just avoid it. Because I don't. I only have two Pokemon again. That sucks. All right, coughing. Uh, Squirty is going to destroy you with Water Pulse. And hopefully you will not destroy him. You're dead. Wah. Okay, free Pokeball. One Carbos. 
Whatever that is. I really gotta check some of these things out more often. Uh, so this is a whole area I haven't been in before, which is really cool. Alright, uh, ratty. Thingy. I actually just captured, uh, one of these guys. I realized I hadn't caught one yet. And I figured I needed one on my team. Uh, which I, I definitely do. Uh, because we have ratty, who's the only rat on the team right now. So, and it obviously wasn't enough rats. Um, because rats do really good things for you, like... I got nothing. Rats suck, um, to be honest, so. Alright, Ratty Caddy, um, you are now officially part of the team. I'm trying to catch her a bunch, because I want to get that XP share, which would be fantastic. Oh my goodness, I am looking forward to having it. A floor mat! I wonder what it means. I missed. <gasps> oh, it's an exit! Crap! Wait, did I win? Can I go into the gym now? The door's... Aw, oh, crap. I didn't win, I just, like... Found a different way out than I came in. That was poopy. Alrighty. I say we go ahead and battle this chum. Uh, he's obviously gave me a look. I'm not, I'm not happy about it. He needs to die. Well, that was exceptionally easy. Let's move on. Okay. Last time we came up here and went out the front door again, which was a horrible mistake. What we needed to do was go down the stairs. So we're going to do that here in a second. Alrighty. Ooh, we got rooms. Oh, this is different. Oh, I, th I didn't think we were going to random encounters in the rooms. Oh, these things are so cute. Dittos. Oh, I got I got one. I got one. Right. I was thinking I didn't have one, but they are so cute. Oh, I want one. I want another one. Can I? I want to use one of these on my team. Not because I really would, you know, think it was that good, but because I, uh, because I just want one. So, yeah. Guy's looking like he's up for a fight. And I'm thinking, no. I'm thinking, I want to touch this Me Too statue or Mewtwo. Or a male twill statue. So squirty, beat this chump up. Alrighty, secret switch, press it. Yes, who wouldn't touch the secret switch? Uh, obviously Angelic would, because she has a thing for secrets. I found a Pokeball, a full restore. Put the full restore in the item's pocket. There I'll keep it, never lock it up, because I'll forget to use it ever. Oh, look. A scientist. Let's not talk to him. He looks like a jerk. Not not the kind of person I want to be my friend. That's what I know for sure. Alright, run around here and up here we got another Pokeball. Which is a TM14 Blizzard. Sounds like an ice move. Let's check out that move real fast. That might be cool. Alright, over here up to my TM case. Open TM number 14. It is ice. It's blasted with a blizzard. It may freeze him solid. Power of 120. I don't think I have anything over 100 yet. Holy crap, that's really good. And accuracy of 70 is not bad either. So, you only use it five times. But if I had an ice type, that would be really cool. And maybe, maybe that's the right move for me to make. Maybe someone on the team needs to go. And we got that ice type instead. What do you think? What do you think, huh? Huh? Alright, let's touch the statue of Mewtwo. And press it. Uh, who wouldn't want to press it, of course. And keep on left. On this table over here, we have uncovered... Ah, crap. We have uncovered a secret Pokeball. A secret key! Ooh, I got a secret key. Uh, I wonder if the door is fairly secretive as well, eh? Uh, that is one thing we'll need to find out. Ooh, and a Pokeball. Just for me, after I do a battle to get it. It is TM22, Solar Beam. Ooh, could be a fire move, perhaps? Let's see. TM case, open. And 22, Solar Beam. Oh, it's grass. Ah. Whatever. Not that exciting. Uh, we'll, we'll ditch it. We'll, we'll, we'll probably hold it in my case forever and never use it. It's probably what's going to happen to it. Okay, I've been looking around and I'm not really seeing anything else to do. Uh, I think I might be done in here. Um, as far as I can tell. So, uh, Squirty is going to have to, uh, just roll right over this poor little ratty. Rattata here. Rattana. Um, uh, and just destroy him because this is a jerk. Um, these battles, uh, they've, they've severely gotten on my nerves, as they usually do whenever I reach caves or whatever you want to call this thing in Pokemon. And, and I'm ready to be done with it. I think we might actually be done. I gotta find wherever to use the secret key on, but I might just save that for next episode. So, we'll just have to see. We'll have to see. We're free! Yeah! It's, it's, it's tough to be excited. For me, at least. Um, I feel like those things, like dungeons or whatever, that was actually one of the best. Uh, before, before I go into my rant here, um, they're a bit long, and that one was actually about a good length, I thought. It took a long time to do, 
but they, they, they're they a bit grindy, and I'm not much of a grinding kind of person. I've had my MMO days, and they're well over, to say the least. So, um, we've, we've got a secret key, which means we'll probably have to go back in there and, you know, finish it up, but whatever. Uh, that'll be fine. We'll do that in the next episode. Maybe you guys can just, like, leave me instructions on exactly where to go with the secret key once I get in bit back in there. So, you know, maybe, maybe, just maybe, it's a secret key to getting that slip thingy in here. What was the thingy called? It was a thingy in here, and maybe it was in a locked case. And what I do is use the secret key on the locked case back here, and I get this amber pipe. Um, so I go into my bag here. Go to my key items here and go down to my secret key. Uh, the key to Cinnabar's Island. Oh, it's Jim! Oh, okay, so much for that. That was a great theory. It really was. Yeah, so I can actually get to the gym now and do the gym. So, But I will save the gym for next episode, of course, um, because it's been a very long episode already. 52 minutes of recording. Look at that, I'm in the gym. Uh, there's, there'll be lots of battles to fight in the next episode with all these chumps in the gym that I'm sure uh, have heard tales of the great legend of Angelic rising up and defeating all the gyms except for this one. So, in the next episode, I'll be taking that on. Guys, I hope you all enjoyed this series still. If you are, don't forget to pound that like button down below. Uh, and if you're not enjoying it, let me know in the comment section down below. If I did something stupid in this episode, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, I do stupid things a lot when I play this game because I don't know it very well. Uh, it's, it's just a learning process. So, yeah. So there we go. I hope you all have enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Ladies. Here's my number. It's right here. I'm gonna give me a ring-a-ding. Oh yeah. Oh look, look, look. If you, uh, if I hold this right, you can see the game twice. There we go. There we go. See it? It's right there. Oh my goodness. All right, we gotta just rotate it there. No, that's wrong. It's, it's. This is working. I promise. There's a window that way. Goodbye. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hate this. <laughs>